There is a wonderful natural balance between animals, plants and humankind. It dates back thousands of years since time began and has been passed down generations through ancient wisdom, but we've just forgotten about it in our busy modern day world. The great creator designed us as omnivores, which means that our bodies are designed to eat both meat and plant life such as vegetables, fruit and herbs. Some would say just because we can eat meat doesn't mean we should. And those people have a very valid point as they value animals and are trying to do what they feel is best for the animal kingdom, which is noble and demonstrates principles. However, we have to be tolerant of everyone's beliefs in these matters. If you don't want to eat meat, then don't. And if you do, then eat meat. It's a matter of choice and respect. Many cultures around the world share wonderful relationships with animals. They celebrate their lives with ceremonies since they understand the balance of nature. After the passing of an animal, it's used for the benefit of the entire tribe and almost every part is utilized for benefits for all. Animals are the same as us. The body is only a vehicle in this existence, but the soul, or spirit if you prefer, continues always and lives on. The most important thing is to live a good and healthy life. Animals understand this better than we do since they are more in tune than us and vibrate on a higher level of energy. We love our animals, we care for them, we attend to them when they're sick and we do our best to ensure they lead free, happy and fulfilled lives. When animals are at the end of their lives, especially our pets, we euthanize them to prevent their suffering and we grieve as we feel we've lost a member of our family. Much respect must be given to farmers who keep livestock. They value their animals. They tend to the land to ensure it's maintained well for them. They feed them and look after them, protect them from harsh weather and ensure that they have everything they need. They work long and hard and the job they do in society is a valuable one. Eating a well-balanced diet is part of maintaining a healthy lifestyle and good for our mental health, as many studies have shown, and this includes meat and fish. There are some minerals and vitamins that our bodies need for our health that we can't obtain on a plant-based diet alone, vitamin B12 being one of them. Yes, we can supplement our diet, but it isn't the natural way. Again, it's a matter of choice. Chickens are amazing animals, as anyone who's kept chickens will tell you. They have great characters and can make wonderful companions. They lay their eggs when and where they choose. Many times it isn't in their nesting box. It can be under a bush or on a bale of hay when and wherever they decide. Very often chickens will let their humans know after they've laid. They make a special sound or cry that's different from their usual noises and they'll proudly lead the human to where they've laid so the egg can be found. They are natural givers and they know how to make a valuable and healthy contribution to the balance of nature. When we pass on into the next life, we leave our body, which is just a shell, and we return to the earth, each of us doing our part for natural fertilization. We sometimes donate our organs and bodies for the benefit of others and the benefit of mankind. We understand the importance of giving, and so do animals. The balance of nature is wonderfully intertwined and connected, a cooperation between humankind and the animal kingdom. It's always been that way, but in recent history, humankind have just forgotten. <laughs>